What's good YouTube? It's your boy Khalifa Saad and I'm back with another video. Just pulled up at the shop. It's time to start this bike build. Uh, I'm gonna unload the van, take the pipes and some of the parts that I've already received inside the shop and we're gonna get to work. Don't know when we're gonna start the exhaust yet, but the other little bits and pieces, small things, we're probably going to knock out today. And then uh, Makoto wants to dyno the bike before we install the headers and pipe. So that probably won't happen today. Probably be in the next video. But anyway, uh, let me go in the shop, see what's going on. And I will cut you guys back on. Don't go nowhere. Daima! Yeah. 
So we finally got the bike offloaded. It's been sitting in the van. Just to give you a rundown of what I'm about to do. The first things we're going to do is we're going to install the tank protectors. After we install the tank protectors, we'll probably take care of getting rid of that ugly, hideous thing on the back of the bike that holds the uh, license plate. It's definitely got to go. So that's the next thing to go. And then I don't think there's too much more we can do to it other than installing the frame sliders. And that's probably going to be it for the day. Because like I said, Makoto wants to do a dyno on the bike before we install the pipes. Then dyno it again once the pipes have been installed. Just to see what the difference in horsepower is. So you guys just stay tuned. I'll take you inside the shop. We're about to put some work in. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>
So it took us a minute to get, to get the bike started. Reason being is, when it was sitting at the dealership, one, they drained the fuel out of it, and two, the battery died. And because we did a dealer to dealer transfer, it cut some of the cost out because they didn't have to do the maintenance on the bike. We accepted that responsibility. We're going to do the maintenance on the bike, oil change, oil filter change, all of that stuff we're doing here at the shop in order to save money from having the BMW dealership actually do it. Anybody who has ever had a European vehicle knows they tax the hell out of you when it comes to doing work on vehicles. And that's no different here in Japan. In fact, it's even a little more expensive to have vehicle work done here in Japan when you have a, a European vehicle. So that's the reason that the, uh, the battery was dead and it, the bike had no fuel in it. Now we got the bike running and we're about to get to work. So let's go back in the shop. <laughs> so another thing about buying a bike here in Japan with this much technology 
all of the settings are set to Japanese. So right now we're trying to figure out, we're trying to go through the menu to change it from Japanese to English. Hopefully we get it figured out. It's either that or I gotta learn how to read kanji real quick. But we'll get it figured out sooner or later. You guys just be patient with us. I'm not gonna hold the video for too long or much longer. Uh, probably ended up putting it in hyperlapse so we can get some of the stuff knocked out and not make the video too long. So you guys just hang tight and don't go nowhere.
So we're finally finished for the day. We put in a lot of work. We got the uh, the tail tidy installed. We got the frame sliders installed. And the, what else did we install? All oh, the rear blinkers. So that's all we can do for right now. I'm still waiting on parts to come in. Uh, Makoto is going to start working on, well actually one of our other friends, Waka, he's going to come over on Tuesday to start the installation of the, uh, the headers and the tailpipe. So I'll be taking leave so I can come up and make sure that I capture that. I decided not to do a dyno on the bike prior to because I just want to get it done. Uh, so does Makoto. I'm excited to ride the bike. Don't feel like scheduling appointments around, you know, different shops. So we just gonna get it knocked out. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because it's dark. I gotta get to the house, take care of my boy. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to all. See, I'm tired, I'm tired, tired tongue. Turn it to all so that you know when I drop a new video, share, like, comment, all that, and I'm out.